In essence, the needs of musicians and audiences are simple. Musicians want to hear themselves and their fellow players, and they want to know that everyone can be heard clearly by the audience. Audiences want to hear and see the performers, both as an ensemble and as individual players. Before the advent of amplified music, this happened naturally. Musicians playing acoustically could hear the natural, uncolored sounds that they and their fellow musicians were producing. And because each sound came directly from its source, it was mixed in a natural way so that the musicians and their audience enjoyed an automatic connection between the visual and the oral. The source of a particular instrumental sound could be instantly located and fully appreciated. Nowadays, most music depends on amplification. Live performances are being played at high volumes. In response to the need of reaching greater numbers of people, the triple system concept was developed. The triple system consists of backline amplifiers, monitors, PA speakers, and one or more mixing consoles. The success of the triple system in large venues led to similar solutions for the smaller venues where most musicians perform. About the same number of different sound sources are used, but they are packed together in a much smaller area and cause many problems for the musicians and the audience. It starts with the transport of all the gear. The carrying and setup is heavy work and takes lots of time. You need stagehands if you can afford them. To connect all the gear, you need masses of cabling that has to be carefully inserted into all the right inputs. One mistake and there will be bad sound or no sound at all. Acoustic properties of venues often have an unfavorable influence on the sound quality. The triple system easily uses up to eight different sources, all producing sounds in different directions and all creating reverb. The result is often a massive clutter of sound. This is leading to one of the biggest problems musicians face, the so-called volume wars. Musicians struggle to hear themselves, and as a result, they turn up the volume of their instruments. The other musicians react by doing the same. The result, no overall improvement, a continuous threat of feedback, and every musician playing in a secluded spot of oddly balanced sounds. Especially on a club stage, it is very difficult to make instruments sound good for the musicians without triggering feedback and at the same time creating good balanced sound for the audience. And all of this work is done with the knowledge that the mere presence of the audience will alter the sound balance that was so carefully created. For smaller venues, triple system amplification works okay when you have a good, knowledgeable sound engineer and a band that follows his directions. But no matter how good he or she is, the monitor sound on stage will always differ drastically from what the audience is hearing. As a result, the musician's satisfaction is affected by a feeling of insecurity about the sound of the whole band. Is it any wonder that the most common thing heard from musicians after coming off stage is, how did we sound? Something had to change. The challenge was met with the invention of cylindrical radiator loudspeaker technology incorporated in a new system, the Bose L1 system. A basic L1 consists of a cylindrical loudspeaker, a power stand, one or more bass modules with an additional amplifier, and a device for total control over inputs and tone, the T1 Tone Match Audio Engine. The L1 system has unique characteristics. It concentrates its sound waves in order to maintain sound level over a much longer distance than conventional loudspeakers. And by spreading the sound almost 180 degrees, the L1 creates a larger and more consistent sound field. And then, and this is the key, each musician is provided with an individual L1 placed behind them. 
and some musicians standing right next to each other might share an L1 system. Another unique advantage of the L1 system is its size. The cargo space needed is minimal, and the carrying and setup is easy. Here, you see the setup of an L1 system compared to the setup of a triple system. We've speeded things up a little bit for the sake of this demonstration. In the upper side of the screen, you'll see how much time it takes for musicians to set up their L1 systems. In the lower half, the triple system is built up by four others. As the connecting, tweaking, and sound checks for the triple system continues, you may wonder why the L1 system didn't show any of these adjustments.